Hi, welcome to our next video on C programming where we are going to be looking at input. How do I capture input from a user? So let's go and create a new project first. So file new project again console application C project and I'm going to call it test IO. Click OK. As before, I will ask you where to save it. Okay, so I've created another folder called test IO and I'm going to save it there. So this is the default starting point for the dev C uh, development environment. So let's go ahead and start uh, getting user input. So to capture user input, okay, we're going to be using the keyboard as the input mechanism, uh, which is the default mechanism that most uh, programs will use. Now the important thing is when the user is going to enter input you need a place to capture or store this data and for that what you need to do is you need to create variables. Okay, uh, These variables are very much uh, storage boxes. Huh? You can think of them as storage boxes inside your computer's memory and you need to sort of specify the type of data that you are expecting to capture from the user. Uh, we're going to start out with something simple. Let's start with a numbers first. Okay. So to capture a number, you need to specify a data uh, type such as an integer. So how do I declare a variable called integer? I say int. And for example, I say uh, user input. Okay, so now I declared a variable called integer user input and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user to key in uh, a number. So first I need to prompt the user, alright, so I need to say printf enter a number. Okay. And then what I'm going to do next is I need to wait for the user to key in a number and then press the enter key. So that can be uh, accomplished, that task can be accomplished using the scanf statement. So in the scanf statement, what you must do is you must put the identifier okay, on the type of data you are going to capture. So there are different identifiers for different data types. So since we are talking about the integer data type, what I need to do is to put a percentage D here. Okay, so this tells the user, or this tells the program that I'm expecting the user to provide me with the integer input. Now, what I need to do after that is just after the double quote, I need to put a comma and I need to put M percent sign together with the variable name followed by a semicolon at the end. Okay, so you notice two things here. I need to uh, first put the identifier. Percentage D is for integers. Uh, later in the lecture notes, you will see that there are different type of identifiers depending on the type of data you're dealing with. And then whatever the user is going to enter, I want it to be stored inside this particular variable, which I have named as user input. Uh, an important thing is, bef just in front of the variable name, I must put an ampersand sign. Okay, so what does this ampersand uh, sign indicate? This ampersand sign tells us that we want to capture the user input and put it into the memory. Okay, the memory space that is currently assigned to this variable called user input. Okay. Uh, we will be looking at that again and again. Okay, what is memory and what is data? Okay, we'll be coming back to the concept a few times. Okay, so this is what this uh, printf and scanf statement uh, is doing. We are first prompting the user to key in a number and then we are capturing it. Okay, and just to uh, be sure that we sort of captured it correctly, let's do another printf statement here. You enter, okay. and again, what I need to do is I need to put a identifier. Okay, so this identifier percentage D should be placed whenever you want to capture user input or you want to display 
the data that is currently in a variable. Okay, so to display use printf to capture the user input you use scanf. So now that I want to print out the value, I say percentage d, and what I need to do is now put the variable name. Okay. Uh, another important thing you'll notice here is when I'm doing a printf, that means I want to display the data that is currently in the variable, I do not need to put the m percent sign. I just put the variable name as it is. Only when I use scanf to capture the user input, then I must put the m percent sign. Okay, so that's just about it. So let's save our program and then do a compile and run. Okay, so you can see the input screen here it asks you to enter a number okay and you can see the cursor blinking here which is right here in the program okay so once you have a scanf you will see that the cursor holds and blinks because it is waiting for the user to enter uh, a number okay so let's put in a number so let's key in 18 and once i press enter what happens when i press enter the scanf complete so what it does is it takes this number that I have just entered and puts it into this variable called user input and subsequently I do a printf statement okay uh, with the data that is stored in this variable called user input okay and earlier on whatever that I entered went into user input so whatever is in user input now is what is getting printed out okay so that sort of uh, gives you a nice introduction to printing and capturing user input okay through the keyboard so just uh, two important things to remember to display the variable in your data you must use the correct identifier okay percentage d for integer and so on with the variable name when you want to capture user input is the same thing percentage d for uh, integer input plus the variable name but just before the variable name you need to put the m percent sign okay so that uh, brings us to the end of this video so of course a lot of things you can try uh, to experiment with okay we will come to that once we learn more uh, data types okay uh, and identifiers for the different type of data that we can capture okay so we will end this video for now thank you for watching